Zhang from Argus Cyber Security. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the Argus IPS, the intrusion prevention system. Uh, what we have here is the regular car, uh, and we're about to show how regular cars are susceptible to cyber threats. So uh, in here we have the telematic system of the of the vehicle. It's running Android 4.3. It's in pretty old version, but it's pretty common in uh, a lot of vehicles. Uh, to the left, we can see the a live monitoring of what's happening uh, in the vehicle. And, uh, and what I'm going to show you now is uh, how a hacker might take control over the vehicle. Uh, so, uh, what, I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm accessing the CES website. We're currently in the CES. <laughs> Uh, and what we have here is the CS website, but but actually it's not the real website. It's just a mock website we put up. Uh, and what we did is uh, changed all the links so that they point to malicious malicious links, which uh, install a virus on the head unit. So what happened now is that the system is taken over. The telematic system is taken over by the head unit. So is and that when your software kicks in? And right now the software is uh, is not live. It okay. just allows anything to pass through it. Okay. Uh, we have a hacker interface here uh, that we just set up, and it allows me to take control over the vehicle. So if you just look at the dashboard, you can see that I'm uh, playing with it as a hacker might do. Uh, so you can actually control the vehicle? Yeah, I can control the vehicle from my bedroom, for instance. Okay. Stuff like that. And what I'm going to do now is uh, update the, the Argus IPS inside the, inside the vehicle so that, uh, so that it knows how to block these... Okay, so now you're going to enable the Argus software. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, so now that I've uh, enabled the Argus security system, I can just uh, try to hack it again, try to send the, 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 have the malware send more uh, uh, messages to the head okay. unit, to the uh, internal components, and it just wouldn't work. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, so is this a software solution or a hardware software solution? So we we give a complete product. Uh, it sits in between uh, inside the vehicle. Uh, it can be also a software solution only. Uh, we pre prefer to be a, a complete solution, a system on chip that you just put inside the vehicle, sold to the OEM.